Hi. Hi. I know you. You're a teacher. You're that teacher. You're the teacher who made a difference in my life. I remember you. See, school didn't start so well for me. I started school when I was four years old and I was skipped ahead a year after that. And so I was really young when I was in school and things didn't go very well from the beginning. In kindergarten, I had a teacher, we'll call her Miss R. When I went to kindergarten at the age of four, I was a reader. I could also add, and I was learning how to subtract. And when Miss R started to teach the alphabet, I very excitedly told her, you can put those letters together and make words, and the words can tell stories and open magical doors. Miss R didn't want to hear that. She didn't like that I knew that letters made words. She didn't like that I could read. The same thing happened when she introduced numbers and I explained that you could put them together and make bigger numbers. Miss R didn't like that. When we painted, Miss R wanted us to paint a red flower with a yellow center. She wanted them all to look the same. But my red flower didn't look the same because I didn't see it the same way that Miss R saw it. And Miss R didn't like that. And when we played with blocks, she wanted us to make towers and buildings, but I wanted to make roads, roads that would take me places. And Miss R didn't like that either. And I realized pretty quickly that Miss R didn't like me. And that set the tone for my schooling. I hated school. I used every excuse in the book not to go until something wonderful happened. In fourth grade, I had a teacher, Mrs. P. Mrs. P discovered that while I was in the Bluebirds reading group for children who couldn't read, I was actually hiding a copy of the Odyssey behind my Bluebirds reader, and she kept me in at lunch, and she asked me questions about the Odyssey, and she realized that I wasn't only reading the book, but I understood it. So Mrs. P made my own reading list. She let me choose the books that I wanted to read. And she would keep me in at lunchtime sometimes and we would talk about them. And then she gave me an incredible gift. She introduced me to writing about them. And I became a writer. And then in fifth grade, I had Mr. D. And Mr. D understood that I wasn't hearing or seeing things the same way. And he introduced techniques like playing classical music and asking us to draw pictures based on what we were hearing. One time I was out of school for over a week. I was sick. And when I came back, the class was taking a science test. And I took it with the class. The next day, Mr. D asked, did I want my score? I wasn't quite sure what to say. He said I had a choice. I could keep the score that I had earned on that test, or I could take the test over again. What did I want? I thought, and I said, I'll keep the score. And it turned out that I had earned the highest score in the class. Mr. D taught me to have confidence in myself, to believe in myself. These teachers, Mrs. P, Mr. D, they're like you. They're just like you. They didn't see me as just another kid in the class. They saw me as an individual, somebody that they had to get to know. And they saw that I had unique differences and abilities and that they needed to find ways to meet them, just like you do with your students. 
you take the time to get to know your students. I don't care whether it's in person or virtually, you know who they are. You know how to differentiate instruction to meet the needs of each of your students and you care about them deeply. You check in on them if you haven't heard from them or seen them. You contact their parents. You make sure that they have everything that they need in order to learn and be successful in your class. And I haven't seen your classroom, but I bet it's an amazing environment. You see, you're that teacher. You're that teacher that I needed, that every child needs. And I am so grateful to you for the difference that you are making in the lives of children. As you get ready to start your school year, I know that there are a lot of unknowns. I know that there's a lot of fear. I know that there are things that we just don't have answers to, but you know what? You're that teacher. And I know that you're going to find a way. You're going to find a way to make a difference for every child that crosses the door of your classroom. You're going to find a way to make education exciting and creative and challenging. You're going to find a way to make a difference in the life of every student you touch. I can't thank Mrs. P. She passed away after I graduated from college. And guess what? I became a teacher because of Mrs. P. And I can't thank Mr. D. I've tried to find him, but I can't. But I can thank you. And I thank you with all my heart for what you've done and for what you're going to do. You have my gratitude. You have my appreciation. You have my respect. You are a valued, valued member of this community that we call professional education. Thank you for your expertise. Thank you for your caring. Thank you for what you're going to do this year. Have a great year. And if you have a down moment, remember, you make the difference in the lives of children like me every day. Thank you.